Today we're going to learn the partial sums method for addition. In second grade, we used partial sums for two digit numbers. This year we're going to do it for three digit numbers. Now this is my problem and I'm going to make columns and you see that in the green we're making columns to separate the ones place from the tens place from the hundreds place and I'll go ahead and write that down. Hundreds, tens, and ones. Now our first step is we're going to add the hundreds. So as you can see here we're going to look at the hundreds and we have 100 plus 300. So we're going to go ahead and put a 4 symbolizing 400 and then 0, 0 for our place markers. The next step, and I'll put a 1 here so we're organized. The next step is we're going to add the tens place. So tens place we have a 4 which stands for 40 and a 2 which stands for 20. So 40 plus 20 is 60. So I'm going to go ahead and put a 6 there and a 0. Then for the third step we're going to add the ones place. And right now we're looking at the ones. We have a five and a two, so we only have to look at those numbers. Five plus two is seven. And we're going to go ahead and put a line under there to separate it. And then we can just go down and see what digits there are. Over here we have a seven. Over here we have a six. And over here we have a four in the hundreds. So your answer is 467. And that's how we use partial the partial sums method.